top, top, top. Top, top. It's your boy, Chad Visionary. It's your boy, E Money Boss, and you're now tuned in to the Top Hill Podcast. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Exactly. We number 30. That's why I had to go to swish, swish. You know that, what I'm saying? That's all you do. That's, that's that brick right there. So uh, nah, that's that's Stephen Curry. You talking about Stephen Curry. You talking about, about, about my job. He didn't sound fully committed. It was like, shh, shh. But my job ain't broke. You know that. He getting on the court right now. I'll Let's show go. You. All, all right, right. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to another episode of Top Hill Pod. I am your boy, E Money Boss. And I'm Chad Visionaire. And I am Jamila with her own boss. Thank you. Thank you. We are here. We are live. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. However you're tuning in. We on Instagram, Facebook Live now. Welcome to the Facebook Live family. Uh, also, make sure you guys check us out on YouTube. What's up, Facebook? <laughs> Chad on Facebook. Um, <laughs> shout Is out people to on the there? YouTube. Huh? Is people on there? I'll, I don't, I don't know. even know. I can't even tell. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I have no idea how this works, but hey. You know, if you want to check us out on Facebook Live, you guys can always check us out on there if you want. Um, we got a lot to talk about today. Yeah, man. There's a lot of things that happened this week. We got to dig right into it, man. We, yeah, we got a very special guest, and he's coming. He's coming oh, on yeah, the podcast for sure, later. Man. I can't wait to bring him on for real. So let's get right through these topics real quick. Um, first things first, I, I want to say um, is rest in peace to um, Devon uh, McNeil which is a 11-year-old boy oh, yeah. who passed away um, in Southeast D.C. over this weekend. Um, he was just watching the fireworks, and uh, a bullet um, hit him, and he lost his life. So rest in peace to little Day Day. Um, if there is anything that you want to do to help the family, um, hey, uh, Thorne, just to make sure, it was a D.C. stamp that I seen you post it. DC stamp, yeah. DC DC, stamp. So make sure you got look at DC stamp, uh, so you guys right. can actually send some money to the family to help them with the funeral um, cost and arrangements. So um, I wanted to get that out the way first. Yeah, recipe to him. I don't. I can't get over that, man. Yeah. yeah. There, there should be no excuse for an 11 year old um, to lose his life for watching the fireworks. You know, he had his whole life ahead of him. He loved football. He loved music. Yeah. I heard he's a really talented football player. Yeah. I heard somebody else um, got shot too. Yeah. Young lady. She's yeah. like 20 years old. 20 years old in Southeast as well too. She's from Hyattsville, uh, Maryland. Um, but yeah, um, the city got, y'all, the DMV got to get checked. I mean, the whole, everybody got to get checked because Atlanta had a crazy weekend too. Atlanta had like 22 um, oh, wow. uh, shootings. But um, yeah, man, like, we gotta we gotta fix this in our in our culture, man. Um, it's it's not man time for us to be just out here, you know, getting high and just shooting just to be shooting. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you you taking kids out, man. Like most of y'all got kids. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 just it's so sad to see. I'm I'm tired of looking at. It. I'm tired of talking about. It. I'm tired of saying rest in peace to people who don't deserve. Um, to, to go so young, you know what I mean? We out here um, yelling Black Lives Matter because right. we, we're out here dealing with right. people who are supposed to be protecting and serving us, taking us out of here. But when it's our own, we gotta check. We gotta check ourselves as well too. You know, we gotta hold hold ourselves responsible. I hundred percent well. agree with that. So, and it's still Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Um, moving on. Kanye for president. <laughs> Kanye. They should already know president. how it, if they've been tuning in to Top Hill, they should know how we feel about Kanye. I'm gonna vote for him. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. It's, so, it's all bucks for me. I don't. I don't speak for myself. I don't know about E-Money. I know E-Money. You know, is a big fan. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know. I respect Kanye. I always respected his views. Um. I always see the bigger picture, man. 
I mean, we go on and on about Kanye. Right, but can we but, talk about if he does become president, how Kim Kardashian is going to be the first lady? Uh, well, I ain't worried about that. But what's wrong? Okay, <laughs> there's so many things to go. What's wrong with Kim Kardashian being the first lady? Yeah, I, I really want to know that Coming from too. the first lady of Top Hill, we would love to hear your Yeah, I would, I would like to hear that. That's not what dreams are made of. Like, when I mean, you say first lady, no now let's not get it twisted. Like, you know, <laughs> you right, but we not going to hear about her. It's one thing that we thought Donald Trump was just a celebrity before he became a politician. Now we're going to have Kim uh, Kardashian okay. being the celebrity of I the United States of from. America because she's the celebrity. Yeah, yeah, that's too much. The celebrity of the United States of America. Not okay. Kanye, but Kim Kardashian is the celebrity of the United States of America. First lady? No. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of attention on her. Absolutely right not. You're really like, gonna have kids' minds all the way fucked up. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I don't I don't look that deep into that because I'm I'm just not um, that involved with the Kardashians and keeping Me up with neither. them. Me neither. I don't watch none of this show. But that's the, yeah, yeah, that's the reality. Yeah, that's the reality. I know there's a lot of women that look up to her and see like that's what the image of beauty is and that's what I need to look like and stuff like that. Um, but. I, I'm looking at her entrepreneur work. That's been getting a lot more of my attention, like her uh, practicing law, getting her law degree, yeah. and trying to help you know uh, black people get out of jail, getting second chances and stuff like that. So that's the kind of stuff that I see that she's doing. I'm not saying she's all bad, but when you trying to teach your daughter how to be a lady and how to be a woman and how to be respected in these streets, you I can't have my daughter looking me in my face talking about some well first lady Kardashian, well uh, West. You know what I'm saying? She made a sex tape and got popping before she went to college and did X, Y, and Z. She already had all of these accolades before, you know, before that. And it was based off of sex. Let's keep it 100, But think about that. Melania Trump, the same thing. She was a new model. And it's still dead-ass wrong, and they still Mm -hmm. gave her a lot of slack. They yeah. still gave they still gave her a lot of stuff. We still don't respect her. We still don't know what the fuck she's doing mm-hmm. because we always knew what Michelle Obama was doing and which oh, yeah. her benefit was. And I'm not a big fan of the Obamas either to keep it a band with you. Mm-hmm. And I, I just can't mm, I can't have my daughter looking at talk talking dumb to me. That's what the mm-hmm. America is made of. Like right. you really can be a whole hoe consistently one president to the next, mm-hmm. and that's how you can become first lady by being a thought because both of them did it. Yeah. Now. So this this obviously is problematic. It got a lot of headlines, and just for you guys to hear the tweet, uh, what Kanye West exactly said on Twitter was, "We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future." I am running for president of the United States. Hashtag 2020 vision. <laughs> now. Let's just get this out of the way now. Kanye, unfortunately, has already missed the deadline to run as an independent. Oh, okay. Um, I know Maryland um, and a couple of other states, today was the deadline okay. to do that. Um, there was a couple, there's a couple of things you got to do if you want to run for president. So my, my whole position on um, Kanye running for president, I don't make any decision until I see the presidential debate um, because... This is politics, y'all. Like, these are professional liars. <laughs> okay? Like, this is what they do. They lie to you. You know what I mean? They try to get to get to uh, pull you in by, your, by their personalities and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, you don't know exactly what they're doing unless you're really reading their policies okay. and stuff like that. So, you know, Trump could say that he, Trump said he was going to build a wall. Where the wall at? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, we, we don't see that right now. But he said he was going to do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, until the presidential debate comes up and I see clearly what everybody's stance is on, I don't make a decision. What I do know is that if Kanye West was allowed to run for president this year, how it would divide the parties. But this this is just going into how messed up this election system is set up in the first place. Um to go into the Electoral College. You know, the Supreme Court... I see, man. So the Supreme Court just passed a bill saying that the Electoral College will be punished if they decide to not go with the popular vote. A lot of people have the misconception that America is a democracy. Mm-hmm. America is a republic, um, according to our Constitution. It's a republic. You don't hear anything about democracy, anything <laughs> in the preamble, and in, in the in, in, in the Declaration of Independence, or anything. Okay, so what that is, what what they're telling you is, us as the individuals, we vote 
for the Electoral College, and the Electoral College is a random person that votes on our behalf. But before today, really, they could do whatever they want. If, if, a Maryland, if Maryland decided that they were going with Biden, right, and they got this amount of votes for Biden, the Electoral College would be like, that's cool, I'm going for Trump. If that's they exactly wanted what to. happened. The last... Uh... So Hillary won Election. the popular vote, right? but um, the Electoral College swung Trump's way. And a lot of people are like, oh, we still need the Electoral College because the Electoral College, you know, helps the small states have a voice. When actually it really doesn't. It, the, 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 the beginning of the Electoral College all came actually from slavery. It came from the Three-Fifths Compromise because they knew that there was more black people that just got free, that were able to vote. So what they decided to do was create the Electoral College, create the Three-Fifths Compromise, to make sure that our voices wasn't heard so we didn't get people, um, so we, our voices wasn't as powerful as what it could be. So that's actually the truth of the Electoral College. My opinion is that should be abolished. It should just be, if this is a true democracy, let this be um, a vote by popular vote. You know what I mean? Instead of it going state by state, let the country no, vote. I agree with that. Let the country vote on who the president should be. It should be right. that simple. If this That's is the whole point of the de- a democracy. Exactly. If it was a democracy, it would be That's just would that be. simple. Exactly. It would be just that simple, but exactly. it's not. Exactly. And then and then it will really, it will pay, um, it will have a greater voice. It will have a truer voice, honestly, to what the country actually wants um, when it comes to making laws and who we want to represent the country. Um, that's my take on that. Um, but, yeah. Kanye for president, yay or nay? Kanye for president, yay or nay, I can't say. I'm going to say yeah. I'm looking at Biden and Trump right now, and I've been researching about them, and it's just like, to be honest, I don't want to vote for either one of them. Just looking at their track record. We're right back to where we were in 2016. Like it's, it's voting for another celebrity, even yeah. if it's Kanye. Yeah, voting for another celebrity. I mean, we're we're starting to see like how bad this is starting to get. Like I don't see this going any any better. You know what I mean? I feel like Obama might have been our peak when it comes to like representation of what a president should be and look like and do. Mm-hmm. But after that, like anybody can run for president. Literally, we see, you know, with Trump. You know what I mean? Like what. When Trump was running for office, I, I am fair. I don't consider myself a Democrat or a Republican. I'm a free thinker. I can think on my own. So I know what I want for me, my family, my people, and what, and what will help me. And I know voting locally will best do that for me. The president, the president, cool, but not as important as, um, you know, your governors, your local officials, and stuff like that. That's who you guys really need to start researching and knowing who um, is running for office there. But Trump, man, I, I try to give him a chance, man. I, I watched the Republican convention. Um, I watched all the debates. And I still, for the life of me, don't understand how this man got in office. Like, I have, I, I have no clue. Is it just me? I have been doing so well under his um, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. presidency. And it's just like, it's really throwing <laughs> yeah. me off. It's yeah, really so. throwing me off because, like, you want to hate him. Right. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, if you're a I cannot owner, hate that yeah. man. If you're <laughs> a business owner, him. you're not okay with Trump right now, to yeah. be honest with you, because he is doing a lot of things that's helping uh, business owners and, and stuff like that. So I, I get that he's completely. He's a businessman. Yeah, he's a sense. businessman. So he, uh, obviously he's going to do things that's going to help his his base and people like him or just entrepreneurs in general. Um and he has done things for black people as well, too. Love it or hate yeah, it. Yeah. He has passed some <laughs> when laws. When he said Talk that, when he that. said, a lot of people took offense to we don't have nothing to lose when he said that. Yeah. But he was telling the, the truth, the truth y'all. The, Just because you don't the like the way I look. Right, yeah, it, he emotional. doesn't know how to articulate. Let's get, let's get real. Exactly. We're we care about how people say things and stuff like that. Sugarcoat it for us. Make me feel good if you're going to tell it to me. I'm right. not mad that he doesn't like the way I look because I don't like the way he looks either. Right. This is He's politics, hideous. y'all. Like, you gotta stop thinking politics like it's um, American Idol or something like that. Like this, vote for the about person, popular demand. Vote for policy, not for popularity. Not for, you know what I mean. Not for personality. Excuse me. Um, that's that's what we really need to start focusing on. Bump as the Democrat or Republican, which candidate is going is actually saying they're going to do things for you. Do I like Trump? No. Do I like Biden? 
No. Do I think Kanye should run for president? No. <laughs> but do we have any other options? No. <laughs> so, so okay. I am left with this. And okay. um, for the people who are just saying, just vote for Biden, he's better, for, he's better than Trump. Do your research. Please. He's way no, sneakier. Oh, my God. Please. He is so sneaky. It's so easy to find out people's true intentions and stuff like that. Just because he was the vice president to your favorite president does not make this man qualified to run for office. Because if you did research on your favorite president, you, he wouldn't be your fr- favorite president either. Absolutely not. The man's a creep. <laughs> he, he, he's, a, he's, a creep he's a creep for real. And my thing is, when it, at least when it comes to Trump, you know what you're getting. You know you're getting stupid. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, you know when he when he speaks, you know he means what he said. <clears throat> now, with Biden, and this is another reason why I'm scared of Pence, and that's why I don't want Pence in the office either. Because those are the kind of politicians, those are your normal politicians. <laughs> which means that when they get in office, they're all talk. They'll say whatever you want. And then when it goes time to shut the cameras off and go back to what they're doing, they're not doing nothing for you. But they made you smile and happy because it sounds good. Yeah. Right. That's how they treat Man, hey, hey, hey now. Cause that's what he will tell you. I swear, I can't be yeah. mad at him. Like, cause I am a free thinker, and then it just sucks right. because it's like you shouldn't want to support someone who doesn't support you. But mm. it's not personal business. Is business is strictly financial. Exactly. Like, it's just that's just what it is. Yeah. And I'm on that same. I'm on that same wavelength. Like, I understand. Like I said, I don't like the way you look either, Trump. So right. let's right. just get this money. Right. Absolutely. Let's run through this music real quick. Okay, let's get to it. My favorite part of the uh, podcast. Let's get it. Um, the it rain on who weather. It rain on who weather. That was good. Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, I, pra- I, uh, I practice. You know what right. <laughs> he still lives. He lives right. through us. He lives through us. Got somebody right in the woo. You know what I mean? Some, somebody in the woo. From the <laughs> Um... <laughs> R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Yes, um, All the dead men is killing it right now. Yeah, it really yeah. is. And then, you know, low key, <laughs> low key, you, know, you heard Juice World dropping his oh, project we next week. Yeah, yeah, I just it. heard it. Well, actually, it's Friday. Synced it. He got that much right music. Yeah, I gave it Yo, Juice World got music. He got okay. a lot of music. He was still young. He was still yeah. fresh yeah, he in, the, in the true. industry. Imagine how much music. He's already been 22. Yeah, yeah, so young. I heard he did everything off the top of his head. I think that's yeah. insane. He, he, I believe he, it because the way he was freestyling on Ray Melody. Oh, yeah, he, he was a dope freestyle. I was like, yo, this man is wild. He's mm-hmm. crazy. Super yeah. talented. Super, super talented. Um, Pop Smoke, super, super talented. Um, Let's pull up the track list. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this um, album is called I Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. Now, the title got me confused because. <laughs> If you're shooting for the stars, why aim for the moon? That's closer. But anyway, I, astrology. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> the title I can't get with, but the album. The album is very good. The album is, to me, this was his graduation from um, from where he started from, obviously, into the pop smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah. I getting feel into the, the mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Getting into the art, getting to mainstream. Yes. Um, some people will say he crossed over or whatever, but I feel like he, he made all the right moves, made all the right plays. The, the sound is just good. The sound could be played, not just in New York, not just New York drill, but oh, all over. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? People all over love, um, pop smoke and love this album. And, um, you can obviously tell cause it's doing well. Um, across the country and stuff like that, but I thoroughly actually enjoyed this project. Um, I do too. You know how people say um, usually, like when somebody passed away, they like them more mm-hmm. and they probably like the music more. Mm-hmm. To be honest, if he was still alive, I would really love this album. I think mm-hmm. everybody would. Yeah. Because like you said, like this man is a star. Mm-hmm. Like he has that it factor. Yeah. I'm starting to realize it. Like I didn't realize it his last project, but with this project, I was like, yeah. This man was gonna go up. Right. Like, like I said, this is this is the graduation. This yeah. is like it's just like when Kendrick did from Section Eighty to Good Kid Mad City. Right. Like, you know right. what I mean? I, I got that same kind of feel with this. And who knows where he would have went after this. Um I saw him. He would have been up, man. Yeah. He would have went up. And he I've just seen a, a video of him doing a, a audition for a movie. Mm-hmm. And like to see him do that, like that gave me chills. It's just like yeah. that. Like he would have got that role. <laughs> I mean, like he—he he was a, just a dope individual coming, and he was so young. Yeah. 
girl. You don't think that his passing is playing on your heartstrings, making it a little it bit is. more okay. No, I, Somebody I, I, said I, in the comments, mm-hmm. if this man didn't die, y'all wouldn't even know his name. No, I was listening to Pop Smoke. <laughs> That's what we were just talking about. I was it. listening to Pop Smoke before he died. I was yeah. listening. I was I, listening to uh, this mixtape. I just, I just said earlier. I think people will, will still receive this well. Like, like I said, he has that it factor. Mm-hmm. Not with just music, just overall, just a celebrity. Right. Like he has that presence on him. So. Right. Yeah, I want to take that from them. Yeah, and we we listen to new music when it when it drops. Me and Chad make it apparent that we listen to the new music. So sure. when when, when Meet the Woo Two came out, when that when that came out, like I enjoyed it. I played it all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean. But um, what's your favorite um, track song, here, bro? <sighs> Shake the Room is just hard, bro. I, <laughs> I love Shake the Room. I could do without the Quavo uh, uh, feature. Honestly, I feel like he bodied that track by himself. Uh, Dior is a smash. Um, but yeah, I, I I like it, and I like his I like the new sound too. He introduced me to to New York drill because I didn't really know that much about it. Um, yeah, he did too. So he he kind of introduced me to that that world. Um, and you was just telling me about some other people too. Like, was it was uh, a five five. Yeah, um, five Fabio or something. Five, like. He was on Drake's uh, latest project. Right. And there's a bunch of other more. Like I got a whole playlist of it. Like it's a whole wave mm-hmm. now. And I would say that normally that music, I need to be in a certain kind of environment to, yeah. to appreciate it. But this album... I would have loved to, like, been hearing this music in the summer in the club, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Like, this makes me miss going to the club, going out and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's... And the single for this project, getting back to this album, mm-hmm. the single for this joint, Make It Rain, this don't sound better on album. You know what I mean? Okay, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know what it is about... Some, some singles come out before the project, and it's like, eh. Yeah. But when it gets placed where it's supposed to be in the project, that's an art right there, man. Definitely. That's an art because that made me, like, make it rain ten times more than what I did before. I agree. I think he got a couple of hits on there, to yeah. be honest. I could definitely hear this being played. I like, um, another thing I like about this project is with Pot Smoke, he switched it up a little bit. Because mm-hmm. with the last project, you expect that New Year drill on every song, but right. he kind of switched it up and put some new elements into it. He tried singing. Shout out, shout out to 50 for executive mm-hmm. producing this joint. I think he had a lot to say when it came to that. Because mm-hmm. he was in a room with him. Uh, I know they're good friends. So. Yeah. Well, they used to be good friends. So. You could definitely hear the 50 influence in the music. Obviously. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, he sampled uh, Mini Men. Definitely. Well. He sampled, uh, there was these two songs. He also referenced another uh, song on here as well, too. Yeah, he referenced a song, my bad. What was it? It was two songs, back to back. Two reference songs. I want to say... One had 50 on it, so the Woo, not the West Coast. It was towards the end. Like. Something special. Something special of what you know about love. Mm-hmm. Those two right there were referenced. Yeah. Um, those are good, but it's hard to... Uh, do tracks like that because I always end up liking the, the original track better. Yeah, but he still did his thing. I'm not hating on that. Yeah, I, I didn't feel like it took away from the original either. I don't feel like it was biting anything like that. I think the only um, weird feature on here too was Sway Lee, but I, I ended up actually liking it. I liked After it the too. Second, second listen, I was like, oh, okay. This yeah, is. that's actually one of my favorite um, favorite songs here Creature, yeah. um, The Woo, <laughs> okay. Make It Rain, Snitching. Uh, West Coast shit was pretty tight too. It was cool. Yeah. And the one with uh, I think got Future in it. Which one was that? Quavo, if you snitching, that drink is hard. Yeah, it's hard. Um, it's a dope project. Um, if you guys haven't uh, listened to it yet, y'all should probably do that. Definitely. That's this is definitely something about for the summer. Mm-hmm. All right, moving right along. Gucci Mane. <sighs> <laughs> Like you say, eh. I don't know. Nah, I'm so actually who, right with you on this who, one. Who forgot to call Gucci and tell him not to drop this week? Like, cause this honestly, this Wrong project moment. really wouldn't have been that bad if it would have came out last week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, my so? my attention is on pop. It's on pop smoke's album. Like, I I can only consume so much because this is too much. This is too much music at one time. For but Gucci you're man. talking about Gucci, man. People yeah. adore this, man. Uh, I, I, so I, it's probably not a lot to them. 
So when they came out with the clone, I've been let him go. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it's like a few Wait, single like EPs Gucci? every now and again. You like old Gucci? Yeah. You see his new robot teeth? Like, he got the diamonds in the teeth now. And, <sighs> that's yeah. tough. I'm so here for the lifestyle change, but like I said, it's when not giving me what you sold me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, I was yeah. living my best life when he had yeah. that going on. Yeah, there's something about New Gucci. It's different. Like, I... I'm supportive of his new lifestyle, his change. Like I, I appreciate the new Gucci for him, but I like old Gucci music better. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna finish and say this. Yeah, okay. Gucci Mane smoked Yo Gotti during the time they were beefing. Mm-hmm. Kanye West, Two Chains, and Big Sean. What? What year? What year are we talking about? 2016. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. Yes, okay. I, I thought you were talking about 06. Nah, no, no, he smoked them on that one song. But to be that honest. Was new Gucci Everybody calls me crazy, but I like new Gucci over old Gucci because I never was an old Gucci fan. Like, I never really like trap music. Because like you wasn't trapping. So, if yeah, you was out there I was, like I was, I swear to God, you I, thought, I, thought I, was, I felt like I had a Gucci belly. I was only 90 pounds. Yeah. Like, I felt it. I felt it. My, I remember my little Lexus, y'all, senior year. Like, oh, I could not, the new Gucci, I couldn't do it. I can't yeah. see him bumping in my Lex. I just can't. Yeah. I like the new Gucci because he when the new Gucci came out, he's just dropping hits on hits on hits. That's why I was like, I kind of agree with him on 2016. Yeah, what? Hits. what is? Oh, white Brits. I was like, I, that's yeah, a hit. Yeah. That's a hit. What, what, what hits are you talking about? He dropped about? a lot of like a lot of hits in 2016. What hits? I can't think of all the time. I'm a dog. I can go down the list of Gucci Mane hits. I'm a big dude. I guarantee you. I'm gonna be doing some title. But um, but what did you think of this project though? Um, seriously. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't care for it. <laughs> Fujiano, one word. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll say this: like, I I can look at this album and I can tell it's a two piece album. Okay. I can tell it's a two and one. Okay. Um, I can see why you said that. Because if you look at it, I mean, I I pay attention to the track list and stuff like that. When you look at it, one to twelve is Gucci Man, and right. then after thirteen, you got his his label, um, the other artists that are on here, which is. Right. Organio and Pooh Shiesty and Big Scar. Which I knew nothing about, but... Mm-hmm. Um, but this is what this album's supposed to do. You know right. what I mean? He's like, Gucci Man, I'm the headliner. I understand. But I have people who I'm trying to put on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of our albums in one. I'm going to take care of the first half of the album. Mm-hmm. And then for people to keep listening, they're going to hear y'all. You know what I mean? People mess with Gucci, they mess with them. That was definitely smart. Yeah. What's, how you pronounce the name? Fujiano? Uh, you pronounce it right. Fogiano. Fogiano. You pronounce right Fujiano? 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 Okay. All right, Okay, so I did enjoy listening to him. Uh, he stood out to me more than the other artists. And I know it sounds like I'm bashing this album, but it's actually not that bad. I'm, I'm not. I'm, it's not that bad, honestly. Like, it's a decent listen. It's listenable. It's listenable. I might even play it back a little bit because I might pick a couple of songs out of here and put it on the playlist. It's not a bad listen. I just feel like it was the timing was bad. To be honest, I think the future has kind of saved it for me. Oh yeah, because like, look young, at this. Yeah, young. You can't thug, go little, wrong little when you baby. have future. We have future, young thug, little baby, twenty one savage, another young thug feature. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So that kind of saved. You can't it go for wrong. Me. <laughs> that saved it for me. But other than that, I. I really don't care for it. I'm glad I didn't download it. Like I was like, I had a wow. feeling I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Usually wow. I hurry up and download it. But I was like, nah, let me not do that. You ain't going to let really hold space on your phone, bro? Nah. Okay. Yeah. I'll download a couple of songs off here. That's about it. <laughs> not... yeah. Sorry, Gucci. You're not sorry. <laughs> You're not. I don't know why you. Sammy trying to be like, I'm sorry, Gucci. You're not sorry. <laughs> Gucci the man. I respect him. Okay. Respect his album. <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> Last album that came out this week. West Side Gun. West Side Gun. Griselda. I've been waiting to talk about this man on the podcast because we didn't get to lo- talk about the last project he did, mm-hmm. which was definitely worth mentioning. Yeah. I feel like the last album, he did, I think it's Pray for Paris, I believe. Yeah, Pray for Paris. That is one of the albums of the year. Point blank, period. Oh, uh, That's. That's a classic to me. Like he Whoa. demolished that album. You just gonna throw around the classic word around? Classic, from start to finish. Okay. And he made me like, cause I grew up on East Coast rap, mm-hmm. and he made me get that feel again. Like, 
I don't know. He he took it back with the boom bat rap, and I love the bars and the word plays. Like just everything that he brings is East Coast, and I love it. It's that New York shit. Like, what I will say about this project is called Fly Guy is an Awesome God too. That's a dope ass title name, and I want to go back and listen to the first one. I didn't know he had another one. So. Yeah, I didn't. I'm, I'm not, late to the game with him, so. Yeah, I'm late when it comes to Griselda. Um, I'm very late. Yeah, shout out to Griselda Records. Mm -hmm. Oh my, he he got me put he put a lot of his artists on here too. Yeah. So I'm gonna definitely check them out. But with this project, I'm not gonna lie, I liked it. Yeah. It was unique. It was very unique. It was some amazing. Uh, uh, Rapping, some skill set in here. Um, yeah. The sound is different. The intro got me locked in. I was just like, yeah, praise God. Yeah, yo, praise that guy intro. Yeah. That intro was fire. His um, selections on like interludes and intros, yeah. period. Yeah, it's like movies. Like exactly. I, that's what I love. So. I definitely got that a cinematic feel from this album. Definitely that's perfect. Perfect word to that. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a favorite on this either. Okay, so I, to, for me, I like the two songs. It's track number three or four. Okay. They got, um, Sto what's his name? Stove Stop God Cooks. Cooks. That's the guy I want to check out because every song he was featuring on, he just pretty much murdered it. Like, I was like, yeah, bro. I got to <laughs> check him out. And then um, I like Bubba Chuck. Bubba Chuck. Mm -hmm. I like Buff versus Wires. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, man. I thought this was a pretty good project i just don't think it's better than his last one the last one is a classic for me but I, I like this one too okay all right well that's your albums this week um make sure you guys uh check that out uh, that's gonna do it for the first half of top hill pod um we're about to get into the second half we're about to bring on our special guest this week yes, it's going to be lit we're about to have some can't wait some boss talk so uh so, yeah, make sure you guys tune back in. If you're on the live, we'll be right back. Um, Facebook, you can hang out right there because you guys don't have no restrictions. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably the U.S. Um, and, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. Peace.